going back to J. Cole. J. Cole's on the cover. I used to have this thing where you had to be platinum to be on the cover and all these other things, and then you would fight other magazines because, you know, you basically, basically the old school magazine thing is like, the record comes out that Tuesday, so you want to get the artists on the cover that month or the month before when their first single's out, and then you want 30 days of exclusivity, maybe 60 days hopefully, and nobody else puts them on the cover. And now what do you see? Anyone can get a cover. People have the same artists on the cover at the same time. You know, it's just really confusing. There's no respect anymore. People lie to your face. Like it's, hard. it's basically virtually impossible to get exclusivity. So I do my best to get exclusivity by putting someone in the cover that no one else is doing at that time, which is what I did this year with Birdman, uh, what I did with Drake, what I did with Ross and Khaled, and what I did with now with J. Cole. So I just, I, I like the exclusivity. I don't want to have the same motherfucker on the new scene. Plus it sold really well a year ago, and I think it's an interesting story because you know, I don't know if you noticed with the Born Sinner and now you put out this record, Miss America. Very dark, you know what I mean? Like, second albums are always important. Like, is this the sophomore jinx? Is this guy going to go further? Like, you know, and he had a lot of pressure uh, with the first album. And the album so well was legitimized it. But then people still felt a little disappointed that some of the songs were previously released. And how much of it was just his fans rising to, for him? Or was it because he really delivered a great body of work? You know what I mean? So that's the big debate. And I think he's carried that forth. And when I interviewed him last year, around the same time, uh, he had just did the big first week. And nobody else had put him on the cover. And we talked about it. And it was really, he was just really like happy in one sense, but just so focused on, I got to go on tour. I don't, I'm, I don't have any inspiration for my next album. I got to keep going. I'm glad I did this. Now I can make the album I want to make and blah, blah. And he told me all these things he was going to do, like he was going to go listen to, go watch like every hip hop documentary he could get his hands on, like Chalk Call Quest and Death Row and Zone Out and just make beats for a month and blah, blah. So then, you know, we, I left him then at that time. He's actually the only person I've interviewed three times now for respect. So now, fast forward now a year later, he's just about to roll out with the second album. So we basically go from that point of the interview to now, which makes it a great story in terms of documenting the culture and like, you know, how he's challenging his audience. You know, I don't think the the cute girls don't necessarily want to be like, oh, J. Cole, Born Sinner. Oh, J. Cole, Miss America. Like, it's not, you know, he's challenging his audience. And it's going to be interesting to see how that, how that pans out. 